Chef Melba Wilson is a New York City icon with her famous Melba's Restaurant in Harlem. She's also on the board of a great organization called God's Love We Deliver. It provides meals all around New York City. It's an incredible organization. Mm -hmm. And Melba, you are incredible. We are so lucky to have her here to show us how to make some delicious dishes. This is a good Wednesday night before oh, Thanksgiving yeah. dish. So all you have to do is scan that QR code to shop along with us. We're talking short ribs. We're talking short ribs. Mm, We're also short talking ribs. God's love. We yes. Yes. Talk about yes. that. Yes. God's love we deliver. What are y'all doing for S Thanksgiving super this year? So this year what we're doing is we are delivering 15,000 meals to people's homes, to our clients' homes. And these are people that otherwise would not have gotten a meal. Mm, yeah. And not only are we delivering it to them, but they're not going to eat alone. We're delivering one for their guests as well. Oh. So it's so important to me. This they, is such a good organization yeah. to get the whole family involved And they've involved been doing in. this for 38 years. How yeah. amazing 38 is 38 years. And you're on the board because you're an of incredible oh, person. Thank you so much. All right. okay. so let's cook. So short ribs of beef. Some of my favorite things. You're going to throw those in? We're going we're gonna to take this. Yeah, we're going to put the garlic, mm -hmm. salt and pepper. You're using Hoda's favorite accessory, the the Zip reusable, the Zip reusable bag. All you know. bag. Right. Okay. So salt, salt and pepper. Here. Yeah. Pepper. Okay. And then what we're going to do? Is, is there any liquid it. or just no? No, liquid? no. Because ah. we're going to marinate these overnight. We're going to seal our bags. Shake, shake, shake it. Shake, shake it. it up. Shake it up. Make sure that we're going to seal these. It's a dry rub. It's a dry rub. Right. Okay. Then we're going to take them out and and you put these in the fridge overnight. Obviously. Overnight, definitely. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hey, why don't you do this for me? Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. There's some oil in the Dutch oven. And what we're going to do is we're going to put them in our pot. We're going to put mm. them about listen about a half an inch away from each other. Perfect. Away. You're doing a great job. Can I over ask here, you Jenna? what could be a silly question? What's that? I, I love the that rosemary. Rosemary is. I oh, love amazing. a short rib, but uh -huh. I I only really like a short rib that's not super fatty. Yeah. You ask at the butcher, like, can you get different kinds of cuts? Or just cut it you off. You know, you can. Oh. But but what I would do is take some of the fat off. Yeah. But guess just remember, fat yeah. adds flavor. Yeah, you want to cook it with it. It definitely cook adds with flavor. It. And then cut it off after? With, without okay. a doubt. Without okay. a doubt. So those are going to cook for about seven minutes. You mm -hmm. want to brown each side of them. Okay. Then they're going to come out looking like this. Yummy. Okay. But they're Beautiful. not cooked through, right? They're not cooked okay. through. So You're so, what? so smart. So then after they're browned, what we're going to do is take these out real quick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to take these out after they brown. Okay. Okay. Look at that. Beautifully yeah. brown. Uh huh. Beautifully brown. Take okay. them out. Put them back in this. Just you, for you television. Browning them on, for but television. Wait, just one second, because I you may try to all, do this. Brown them on all, all sides. sides. Yep. All sides. Okay. Put those in there. Okay. Okay. Put those in here. Yeah. Put those back in there. Put those back in there. Yeah. Browned ones. That, those are after, after they're brown. Why do you okay. take them out then? She didn't. Because you're just gonna brown them. You're just yeah. gonna brown okay. them. And then okay. And then put your wine in here. Brown. Oh. So we just have some okay, but, wine so, in there. But you don't, and, oh, sorry. Oh, that looks, looks good. beautiful. When you're looks really beautiful. cooking it, though, you can leave it in there and just turn it down. Right, yeah. right. We just okay. did that because those are television. Right. And then we're going to put our stock in. Okay. Is that chicken or beef? Um, I like to use beef, but you can use chicken. Okay. Let's put the bay leaves in there. Oh, yes. Right. Great. Let's head on down. And we're going to put that in the oven, let it okay. cook for two and a half hours, okay. and voila. Here we that go. That's what it looks insane. like. We're going to take now, a bite while we're here. Now, and then what are the corn sides? Pudding. Look how it's falling I apart. I love Look at that. See, this is what I like, apart. but this isn't too fatty for me, Melba. It's not. It's okay. not. It's supposed to fall apart. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make our corn pudding. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the recipe right here. Here's the recipe right here. Killer. This is our the best thing we've ever tested. If you don't want to make that recipe, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. cook and this is our corn pudding right here. Melba. You are the most talented. No, we congrats, adore you. Congrats on your restaurant, the Prudential Center, and Thank your upcoming you. one at Grand Central. Thank you so much. I was doing it. Yeah, for these recipes, mm. go to day.com slash food. And if you are planning mm. a Thanksgiving That's or holiday it, yeah. meal, scan that QR code. Happy Sign holiday. up for a Today account, mm. and you can save on any of your favorite recipes. This is insane.